swings at this pitch and chops it over to the third baseman, Renfro. He has it on the grass, throws across a diamond. Jeremy makes it very close, and the ball got away, in fact. So he is safe. And Hunter Bradley's rounding third, and now they pick up the ball throw that way, and Hunter slides in safely. And Jeremy's going to race down to second base, and he lopes over there, and he slides in. He takes long strides getting down to second base. So that was a routine play, looked like a routine out. Jeremy did hustle down the first base line and made it close and the throw got away. And of course, Hunter Brady racing around third, scores to put the Bulldogs up one nothing. He was really good, had a good fastball, good curveball. Sometimes he was up in the zone though. There's a curveball that's hit up in the air and into left field for a base hit. Runner coming around third, here's the throw to the play. Caught by Aldridge, puts on the tag and the Bulldogs get the out at home plate on the gem of a throw by Bailey Salter. So they eliminate Cody Boyette and that keeps the Bulldogs up one nothing. Bailey Salter has shown an arm in the outfield, especially at rec ball when he was playing center last year. He shows one right there on the ball hit to left field as the Bulldogs get the out at home and lead 1-0 after one as we break. You're listening to Bulldog Baseball on Y101. First the 1-0 pitch. Trey swings and loops it into left field. In comes no pound. It drops in for a base hit. So Trey stroking his third base hit of the season. It hits against Dodge and East Lawrence. And of course that was on the diamond day at a triple against East Lawrence and a single against Dodge. Appling, by the way, beat Statesboro yesterday, 7-2. So I think now they're 14-0 with that victory. That's right. Ground ball, and Beasley scoops it up left side of the mound and throws it to Driggers for the out. Friday night in the region, Jeff Davis beat Tattnall 3-1. 2-2 pitch is line, a soft liner caught by Braddy, or did he not? Yeah, the umpire said he caught it. He didn't make the throw to first base, but Braddy catching that soft liner right above the dirt. Hit right at him. And Beasley winds, and here's his pitch. Breaking ball is popped up in the air, third base side. The shortstop drifting back, and James Etheridge catches it just barely out of the grass for a second straight three up and three down for Jeremy Beasley. So we played three, and it's been quick, and the Bulldogs lead 1-0 on an unearned run scored on the first inning. Kind of shocking to see him chase one way up there. Next pitch, swings and hits it, looping into right center field, and this one drops in for a base hit. So Quintero makes up for the wild swing. For the base hit, the Bulldogs second of the ball game. So two and two on Renfro. Ryan with an even stance. Beasley shakes off Aldridge, now looks at third, and delivers a 2-2. Called strike three, or is it? Let's see. No, Barry thought it was. Three balls and two strikes. Man, that fastball looked pretty good. Bases loaded for the Battle Creek Warriors. Two down. Renfro steps back in. Beasley steps off. And stepping out is Renfro. On deck is Dalton Benton. Jeremy definitely doesn't want to face him. Bottom of the fourth inning. He wants to keep this a 1-0 ball game. And let's see if he can make the pitch. They can make it happen. Here's a stretch. 3-2 won't be made. He turns around and throws to second. And Etheridge has to reach back to his right to catch that ball to keep it from going in to right center field. Because if it does, a run scores. Three balls, two strikes once again as Renfro steps back in, waves the bat around a couple of times, now settles it. Beasley ready to go. Here's a pitch, high and inside ball four and a run scores. A bases loaded walk. Jeremy's walked two in the ball game, both in this inning. So it's a 1-1 game and the bases remain loaded. 3-2. Missed ball four. So the Bulldogs have a base runner with one down. 2-0 pitch. Looping ball hit into left field for a base hit. Hunter Braddy strokes the Bulldogs' third base hit of the game. So he's been on base three times from the leadoff position, and the throw came all the way in from the Next outfield of the pitcher. That's 13, unusual. Jay. This is a nice hitter's ballpark, just 355 to dead center, 335 into the power alleys. Barry takes a pitch up probably slightly above the shoulders, ball four. So now the Bulldogs have loaded up the bases. Here's the windup. Here comes the pitch. 
And it is low and away ball four. And the Bulldogs score their second run of the game, this time on a bases loaded walk. As Jeremy Beasley picks up his sixth RBI of the season. And that brings up Brandon Driggers. He struck out his first time up and grounded out of the shortstop in his second at bat. So now it's 3 2 Tattnall. Pitch to Brandon, loops it up in the air. Will it drop in right center field? No, the second baseman, Boyette, tracks it down and makes an over-the-shoulder catch for out number three. Triggers almost looped in a base hit. Most certainly would have scored one or possibly two right there as Brandon was robbed. The dogs score one as Beasley draws a bases-loaded walk, and the dogs do it on one hit, and they the bases juice. We played four and a half. It's Tattnall County three and the Bulldogs two as we break on Y101. Kicklighter ready with his one two. And Ephraim swings and hits it into left field for a base hit. That's how hot he has been. First getting on base and driving in runs. Bailey hammers the first pitch to Andrew Waters. He'll flip it to second and wildly. And the ball rolls down the right field side. I told you there's a lot of foul territory. Matthew Hall giving the green light. Coming around third. Here's a throw and it's high and he scores. And racing down to third base is Bailey Salter. So the Bulldogs score their third run on an error. Dogs down by one, top of the sixth. Bailey Salter off third, one down. Here's a 1-1 pitch. Trey swings and hits it into the air to left field. In comes no pal, makes a catch. Bailey Salter tagging. Here he comes to the dish. Here's a throw, bouncing, and Bailey slides in safely. And the Bulldogs have come back with a two spot at the top of the sixth to tie the game at four all. And Wingate with a sack fly drives in his first run as a varsity Bulldog. A one ball and one strike. Jeremy doesn't mess around much. He's kicking some dirt around right now, but now he puts the right foot on the rubber. Even with a runner on base, he works quickly. He looks back at second. Now he delivers a 1-1 pitch. It's a curve on. It's ripped in the left field. It's going to drop in for a base hit. Bailey Salter scoops it up, and he's going to throw it home. And Barry Aldridge catches it and puts on the tag easily. And Bailey Salter is going down his second runner of the ball game. And that was a piece of cake, really. Bailey charged that ball, got it in a good position, made a fine throw, and Barry caught it, and he really had to wait to make the tag. So that keeps it a 4-4 ball game. Bailey did that in the first inning, and he did it in the sixth. So the last time a Bulldog hit a home run was last season when Barry hit one in this ballpark. First pitch, sends it right up the middle, bouncing for a base hit. So Barry's aboard. We'll see what Coach Fitzgerald does. Sometimes he let Barry run for himself because Barry is not a slow guy, even though he's a catcher. Remember, he used to be a fullback on the football team and a quarterback. One-two pitch. Beasley swings, hits it into center field. In comes Benton, and it drops in for a base hit. Aldridge to second. So back-to-back -back base hits with one down. One-two pitch. Slaps it right side of the infield. They're coming home. Here's a throw, and Barry Aldridge is out. Throw down to third base, and they got Jeremy Beasley in a rundown, and they got to tag him up. Purcell with a tag gets Beasley coming to home plate. Not even close to it, really. Still on the grass, nowhere near the dirt. That turns into a bad double play for the Bulldogs. 2-2 pitch, swing, and a missed strike three. The ball got away, but Barry Aldridge tagged Purcell coming out of the box. But he has not faced Bailey Salter. Lefty at the plate, righty on the mound, ground ball, right side of the infield, can the Bulldogs get to it? Hunter Brady throws off balance to first base, and Brandon Driggers not able to catch it, runner coming around from third, and will score on the Bulldog error. And the Bulldogs will lose a tough Region 2 game, a game they desperately needed, 5-4. to four. Errors plague them throughout the ball game, and they lose on one.